What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about should you hire employees for your welding business, your mobile welding business or your welding business in general. If you can do it all by yourself, sometimes it's not worth it hiring employees. But if you do need a couple guys or one guy as like a helper or someone to do basic work that you don't want to do, then yeah, I would suggest hiring one. However, there's a lot of things to consider when you are hiring an employee. I would do a thorough background check on them, you know, a thorough application project process, um, you know, drug test, all that stuff. You can do a simple drug test just to make sure they're clean and stuff like that. Um, before, I don't have any employees right now because I'm not big enough to be able to support employees or I don't really need them right now. Um, however, uh, eventually maybe I'll hire a helper or something because it is helpful to have someone to help you tack stuff and hold stuff you know do all the kind of grunt work the grinding the 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 little little odds and ends type things and it's always nice to have someone to give you a hand and uh, but r right when you're starting out I don't suggest it because if you don't even have enough work to keep yourself busy why are you paying an employee to uh, you know, help you out when you can't even, you'll be going in so much debt and you, you'll end, your business will end up failing. I mean, you got to think about yourself first and you got to pay for yourself and your family and your needs before you even think about hiring an employee. Because then you're putting their life on the line. If you, you know, hire them with promises of a 40 hour work week and they're only working 30 hours, then you're kind of providing false promises and false hope to them. And that's, that's not good that's not fair to them and you know they need to make a living too and they need to provide for their family and they're looking to you to help them um, but if you can't even afford to keep yourself busy then don't even bother hiring employees because that's just it's not good for anyone so I would recommend uh, application process and I wouldn't hire off Craigslist I'd hire off a more professional uh, site um, you can screen people a little better, like Indeed or ZipRecruiter. Those are those still aren't the best, but they're better than Craigslist. You find a lot of people on Craigslist who just aren't aren't good quality candidates. And uh, you should have them fill out an application, submit their resume, um, do a background check on them. You know, you can do a piss test, um, stuff like that. Um, then you can have them come in maybe for if you want them to be a welder. Have them for a weld test. Uh, you can do it pretty much anywhere. Uh, it doesn't have to be at your home because then they know where you live. But if you have a shop, that's different. But if you're looking for a helper for a mobile business, you can have them come out somewhere and help you for a day. See how they work out. And if you don't like them, then they don't. You don't have to hire them. But if you do like them, um, you know, then hire them on and make sure they're a W-2 employee. Don't be doing stuff under the table because if they get hurt. Um, that's that's not a good thing and then you could be sued and you could lose your whole business so um, I think it's important to really screen your candidates you can you can kind of get that gut feeling the first time you meet someone uh, if they're gonna be a good employee or not it's 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 difficult sometimes to for sure know but you can kind of screen someone up based off the first time you meet them as what kind of uh, employee they are and what kind of employee they're going to be so that's my advice is screen them thoroughly, uh, make sure they can actually do what they say they, they can do. And then if they work out and they have a good attitude, good work, work ethic, I would suggest giving them a shot because it's hard to find good employees nowadays. And someone who actually has a good attitude, wants to learn, um, is good at what they do. And you know, even if, even if they have no experience but they have a great attitude and a good work ethic, then that's half the battle right there. So. That's what I look for, and that's what I'm, I'm going to be looking for in the future, is someone who has a good work ethic, uh, minimal, like if they have no skills, that's fine, but at least they should be somewhat mechanically inclined, and yeah, they check out with their background check, they're not like a, a felon or nothing, and yeah, that's my suggestions. Thanks for watching.